got worries about Rod Sequenna. His eyes have been busted up. He's been yeah. used up a bit and had a little bit of a worry about his, his right hand when I shook it a couple of times. So I don't know. No. Uh, he's a hard nut. There's no doubt about that. I think um, I, I'm not really, I suppose, uh, I, I mean I mean when I'm saying this. I think Lester Ellis should have the speed, the stamina to overcome this. What fight. about Alice's eye and, uh, in fact, cheek as well, because they were cut a, a lot in the uh, bout against Juan Kill You. Yeah, well, they let him heal from the inside out. He didn't stitch him, which is an advantage of Johnny will tell you. They healed from the inside out. They healed stronger that way. This guy has been busted up on both eyes a fair bit, so he's susceptible to cuts. All right, Ellis in 15 fights has been cut a couple of times. This guy's been cut quite a few times in 52 fights, and he's only won 42 of them. I think also you got to look at the fact that Ellis is, is got a bigger reach and he's taller. And he'll use his speed and he'll use that flashing left hand. Uh, those quick punches, I think, to keep this guy well and truly out. He can handle southpaws. He's fought six southpaws in his career and he's beaten them all. He took the championship from the southpaw. So that sounds good to me. This one, you got the advantage of uh, the uh, Sequina. Yes, I think he has, John. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel about it? you feel somewhat similar to that? Oh, I quite agree with what you say, Gus. I think he's got it in all, most of the departments there, uh, other than the, uh, the seasoning. Yeah. Yeah, 15 this fights. Is, this, is, yeah, this is where Sequinan may have it uh, over yeah. uh, Leicester with the uh, most more fights than uh, Leicester. Yeah, they can make a difference, but uh, 25 years of age, uh, he might, uh, at 52 fights, be uh, starting to slow so down just a little on the, bit. the other side of the hill. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. Well, the referee giving the instructions in there. I don't know whether Rod Sequinan understands too much of them. He knows the boxing caper pretty well, though, so I think he'd you know the, uh, the gist of it. And the referee, of course, did the Spinks, the second Alley Spinks fight, this fella here, Lucy and Joe Bear. That's good. New Orleans, ex Navy fighter. Quite an interesting guy to talk to. Particularly has to say about space. But here we go on this one, Peter. Right. right, here we go. First round. Lester Ellis's first title defense, and Rod Sequinan letting him know who's boss already. Hit him oh. with a hard left hand. <laughs> Let him loose, thank you. He raced across the ring, willing and able to get at it. And of course, now Lester's getting a chance to move. Missed his uh, knees buckled there. He's got to survive this first round onslaught, Peter. It's uh, certainly an onslaught. Lester's Holy. been hit with everything except the roof of the stadium. They really shook him up to Quinnen. Well, this is like Jimmy Carruthers and Victor Weir almost. He's put a lot of punches together in that first round. He's taking a little bit of a breather now, and that might be just what Ellis needs. Well, I certainly wouldn't stick in the corners as Ellis is doing at the moment uh, after being hit by those two good punches. That's right. He got stunned in that first punch over in his own corner, and in his own corner, he really got hurt and hit. Well, Ellis, I think uh, Gus would be better trying boxing, wouldn't it? Go. Yes, he's going to have to box him. He's going to have to stand back and get, the, get, his, get his speed, get his speed going, get those, those lightly fast hands he's going. He, he's being sacrificed inside. And of course, he caught him on the hop. I think Lester get a chance to get a breather here, get through this round. We'll see a different Lester in the second round. But as Johnny knows, too, anything can happen, pal. Anything can happen. That's why it makes the game so exciting, Gus. That's right. One way to go. First of 15 for the IBF. Lester got the title. Lester got in the right hand there. He got a little bit back. Pull it. Get all the on here. The referee's had a busy time. The first, yes. First round. Oh, Ooh. big left hand. Ellis's knees buckled there. <laughs> and again, Ellis fights back. All right, get out. This this is is the first break. round to go. This is where the championship stuff's got to come out of him now because they, John, <laughs> June Serial said that Rob was going to try to knock him out. And of course, he's got the punch to do it the way it looks. Ellis has just got to get that, that little bit thing going for him, a little bit of confidence going for him. These guys upset him early. He should start throwing a few more authoritative uh, punches and uh, keep out of the way of Sequin in, in this first round because there's certainly a long way to go. Absolutely. He's got to stay away from him. Hold it. Watch all behind Zubair here. Giving Ellis another caution. That's the second of this round. Putting the head behind Sequin's head, trying to pull him in. Well, good 
scoring punch that left hand. Right on the whiskers. Well, we're going to learn about Ellis's courage oh, and his chin. Left and right combination. Right, over. Ten seconds of the first round to go. It has been the oh, rip around for Rod Sequinan. Oh, There's the bell for the end of the first. A good round for the Filipino. He certainly took the points there. With uh, Rod storming out, didn't give Ellis a chance to get anything going at all. But with his confidence coming back, Dana Goodson, he's calm, he's cool. This is going to be interesting second round, isn't it? Yeah, I think, uh, well, I believe, I believe that uh, Sabrina took Ellis by surprise there. And I don't believe that uh, Ellis was quite prepared for that on floor. I don't think it'll happen again. Second round. Let's see if Evans can uh, box a quinn and keep him at bay. I'm sure he's got a very healthy respect for his punching power already. His Ellis hasn't landed too much leather so far in the fight. Totally different start to this round, Peter. <laughs> I'll say. Totally different start to the fight compared to when he fought Juan Kill You. Yes. Well, now Ellis has got his uh, his feet planted a bit better. He's got his mind working. He got surprised by that onslaught. I think he's got control again. But if he can survive any more of those punches, the, the, the fact that his chin isn't too strong is going to be dismissed altogether, isn't he? You've got a good strong chin there, Johnny. Yes, he took uh, some good punches in that first round and uh, came through pretty well. Looked a little bit glazed in the corner there uh, during the minute's rest, but he seems to have overcome that uh, uh, so far. Yes, he's back thinking moving now. <laughs> a pretty quick move of the Filipino. Let's get out, come on. Ellis works to the body, ducks under a big right hand, and again. Now get out of there, Lester. He made miss every one of those punches. Whoa, He's swinging like whoa. a garden gate in a gale there for a while. Break, break when I say break. And that takes a lot of energy too. It takes a lot of energy when you're missing like that, Peter. Yeah, exactly. The fact, that, the fact that Ellis got under all those punches and made him miss all those punches tells me that he, he's got his mind back in control again. Let's see if he can get a few more left leads in like that. We're still on a little bit of confidence. Doing better this round, certainly. You get an aggressive softball. They're pretty hard guys to fight, too, aren't they, Johnny? They are. I, I remember a couple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember a guy by the name of Gilberto Biondi, who was yeah. the uh, lightweight champion of Australia uh, yeah. in the uh, late 60s, and uh, uh, that guy wouldn't stop coming he forward. Too, he? And he could hit. Oh, he was a tough one. He was a tough one. Hold it. Both hands on in. Oh, come on, Brett. Some classic battles uh, between Biondi and Kimpo Amafio, if you may recall. Yes, I saw him. I saw that fight that you had with him. It's a real brawl, isn't it? It certainly is. They're really going at it hammer and tongs. There's no give or take here. Hold no quarters asked. Yeah. Don't hit on a break. Ellis give him a little bit to go on with there. 30 seconds of the second round to go. Ellis has got to, he's got to somehow just tell this guy that he's still in there with a big chance. He's got to hurt him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ellis is hurt. He's covering up. Oh, so Quentin hitting him with everything except the stadium roof. Ellis has got to get back in there and throw a few. His eyes are pretty glazed. Oh, he's staggered now. This could be the end of it. Close to the bell. It might save him. There it is. That saved him. Wow. What a round. Oh, there it was. That, that was that left hand. That left hand that caught him. He started the ball rolling downhill, I'm afraid. If he can come back from this, he's a champion. No doubt about that. Still is, but I... Uh, uh... After looking at that round, uh, Gus, I find that uh, I don't think he's quite got, quite got over that first round. Possibly uh, not. Shock. Yeah, I thought he might have because he seemed to be... He seemed to uh, get his act together during the uh, early part to uh, midway through the round. Uh, yeah. But then he's uh, run into one again. And as we saw, he got a little bit of trouble there. Well, let's see what we got here. Third round now between Lester Ellis and Rod Sequinan. The Filipino challenger certainly taking the points decisively in the first two rounds. Well, if I was his corner, I'd say box and move, box and move. Just keep moving, stay away from the guy. Let him use up his legs a bit. The strange thing about it, Gus, is that uh, Alice has got the speed hold it, hold it, hold it. and he has the maneuverability to yeah. move around this guy, but he doesn't seem to be doing it at the moment. Not doing it at all. I don't 
chase him. Let him chase him. That's it. Yeah. Right on the back move. Stay away from those ropes. Up a cut in close there for Blister Evers. I'll tell you what, this Filipino, I said he was a hard nut. He is a hard nut. He came to fight, didn't he? He's done that so far, hasn't he? Well, I'll tell you what, he certainly has. Like being the operative word, Alice knows he's got a fight in his hands here. If he can retain his title from this fellow, he will really have done well. He's moving around uh, Sequina there uh, uh, quite well, but he's Wait. not throwing those Come punches on, which uh, he needs to do, and with authority. Yes, you've got to sap this guy. You've got to stop him in his tracks a couple of times. Right now, this guy's got everything going for him. Ellis hasn't really given him anything to worry about just yet. So Queenland's quite open to a jab if uh, Ellis can come about and uh, get those uh, punches thrown. Thrown. And uh, he's, uh, he's reluctant to throw them and uh, still holding the, uh, the Filipino in awe. I think he might, he might have to get a good solid punch in before he realizes he can hurt him. I don't know about awe, Johnny, but he's got he a good deal of respect for him, hasn't he? Frank. I'd like to see Ellis start throwing some left hooks over his right lead, too. That his hand is down a little bit low. Sequina's right hand being in the southpaw stance with his right hand forward. Well, maybe Ellis still looking for some breathing well, space, Gus. Get out. Come on, Good, fight your well. way out. Try to get out. Come Less on. than a minute to go in the third. Oh, nice left hook from Ellis. Let's see Sequina right in the chin. Let him miss. Now, Comes back good. with a hard right good. hand. Just before that, I was going to say that Sequena is cutting off the uh, cutting off the ring on Ellis. He continually cuts the ring off, puts him where he wants him. First time Ellis got out of that situation. That's experience. Ellis's footwork against Juan Kilieu was superb, even though he did have the blistered feet. But as you said, Sequena fighting the fight that he wants to have. Very good ring craft from the Filipino. They're making Ellis fight his fight. Yep. Close we'll to the end of the round. We'll take a few hard punches to stop uh, Sequin in his Hold it. Yeah. There, so. yeah. there it is, the bell for the end of the third, and certainly a better round for Lester Ellis. For the fourth round, the fourth of 15. It shouldn't go that far. Indications are early that it won't. The Filipino said that Ellis had been knocked out. Well, let's see if Ellis can uh, restore it. a little bit of prestige no in this boy. round. No wrestling. He's got his blood up a bit. Lucien Lobar says no wrestling. A little bit more boxing. Here. That's he's got to start flicking that punch out a bit. Yes, I'd like to see him put out that left lead right into the nose of the Filipino. Just to give himself a little bit of respect. That's right. He's got the speed to do it. Just, he's just worrying about being countered. Then this southpaw, he's, he's having a lot of trouble with behind his head. Both hands on the inside. Try to get out. Come on, let's go. Try to get out. Good body punching there from Ellis. It's all Ellis needs is a few punches to uh, slow down Sequin, and then uh, when he regains a little bit of composure, he'll be able to do what he's um, been told to do in the corners. That's right. Start uh, dictating a few of his own terms here. That's it. Get that, yeah. Snap that jab out. Get the other guy in the back. And move him back. Still like to see him throw some left hooks, too. Ellis is moving better this round again. He's course, after the initial onslaught. Yeah. The longer it goes, now, of course, the obviously some of the strength has to go from Sakana. And if Ellis keeps him moving, he keeps him missing, he, uh, he can get a little edge on him. Fifteen rounds, long time, Johnny. Sure is, Gus. Great, uh, great test for Come on, fight your way out. Let's go. Both hands on each side. Get out. Sit. He's again doing some good work in close. A minute of the round remaining. We're in the fourth. Fourth of 15. The IBF junior lightweight title. Both boys at 58-5 at the weigh-in today. Yes, they're both even right on the exact same weight. Has this particular round also? Hold it. Of Let's any, break. Let's uh, get out. Come on. Step any, uh, up. Aggression no. through this particular round, no. and uh, it's like a nice, easy round for them at the moment. Yeah. Probably uh, 
see Quinnick getting a little breather, and it's a good thing for us because he got a bit more chance to get himself together. But what's going to happen when some kind of gets rested up? Oh, that's uh, real rough out stuff. That, that is uh, pub stuff. Pull it, pull it. Get out. Alice decides to work with the body. Did it well with the right hand. Comes back again. Looking better, Alice now. Cuts loose. Sequinan so tries to fight him off. Alice showing him that he can punch too. Good left and right combination of the draw as the bell goes for the end of round four. The fifth of 15. Yes, it's a, and they finish this a third of the way through. And I think uh, every round that Ellis lasts now, he's going to get a bit stronger. I think. Well, he's got to try and put the pressure on the Filipino now. That was a... <laughs> that was the first round that really looked like we were all going to go home pretty early. We really do, but uh, both of them are starting. Fight on his side, come on. Fight to get out, come on. Yeah. Settle go. down now. Break. Yeah. Break. Lucian Lobar, the... Uh, New Orleans referee who refereed the second Alley Spinks fight. So he's been in there with some pretty big boys, some pretty tough guys. And of course, Muhammad Ali and Leon Spinks was a hard fight. Lucien was telling me this afternoon that uh, Howard Corsell used to pronounce it Lucien Aloba. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to work his own out there. Yeah. He certainly has. Two minutes remaining in this round. Which is the fifth. That was nice. Alice jabbed oh, and then stayed in break. close and got inside the guy. That worked real nice. He did a nice job there. See, Quinn just looked to his corner. Don't play around, Alice. <laughs> Not with this fella. No, don't want to play around with this guy. He yeah, tried to do Fight that against uh, one kill you when he had the uh, one. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jason got uh, uh, Lucian got hit. I don't think Sir Quinn uh, <laughs> appreciated the uh, Come on. So Fight swiftly there. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Good thing uh, Lucy never got hit like that with Spinks or Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> he might be doing this fight tonight, guys, if he had. That's right. And we got, oh, that was a good punch from Nestor Ellis. A good right hand. Hits the front on the chin. All right. Hold it. Get out. He's right. beginning to put his punches together now, Ellis. One minute remaining of round five. I think Rod Sequenna has got a taste of him now. He knows that the guy can punch back. And he did. He extended a, a fair bit of energy there. And that not only the, the energy needed to do the punching, but the nervous energy to generate it all, you know? So he's got to be depleted a bit. We shall also start throwing some left hooks over that. Ooh, hit it with another right hand. Good right hand, wasn't it? And then we're talking. Not bad left either. Good punches, ball. That's done, Sequinan. Hold it, hold it. Break, break. Oh, headbutt, headbutt. Oh, Sequinan, Rod Sequinan uses his head. Oh, look at his eye. Yeah, look at cut. his eye. Wow. Yep. Look at that eye. Yeah, this could be it. It's puffed up very badly. Oh, cuffed I must have seen that. It's like a golf ball in there. Oh, oh. There's the bell for the end of the oh. round. I tell you what, no love lost between them now. Uh, fix that up. He did uh, get eyebrow damage in another fight against Choi Chung of Korea back in 1980. Now that fight was also stopped. Let's see what happened there. That was the right hand that did it, I think. Let's know there was a headbutt somewhere here. He used his head. Yeah. Round six. I think that might have been a punch that opened that, to tell you the truth. That's what I thought, Gus. right there. Yep. And if the referee decides that it's a punch that opened the cut, if the fight has to be stopped, Sequina loses. Uh-oh. Sequina thinking he's going to win it by a knockout. That's what he's trying to do. Look at that cut, though. If Ellis can stay on his feet, I reckon he'll get this. This is the round he's got to withstand the onslaught. Come on, Lester, they're oh, saying. Let's get up. Come on. Great. Keep your cool, Lester. Keep your cool. Start punching. Jab. Move. Don't swing with this guy yet. Don't don't stand toe to toe with him. Make him move. Squad obviously. Him, squad obviously. Uh, Sequinian's hand looks like holding the cuts uh, bad, yeah. and he's uh, making a go of it now. That's right. And well, but this is where uh, hold, hold, this is where Lester hold, should uh, take it easy, and as you say, just move around and keep out of the way of the yeah. rushes. That's right. Just keep clicking that hand. That's it. He hit him right now. Trail loved it. Both hands on this side. Fight 
to get out. Come on, let's go. She also it looked like she kind of came on very strong on the first part of that round, but he's used it up. Yep. Ellis is coming back. And I'd like to see Lester Slide just keep his cool, as you said, Johnny. Let's go. No, I reckon if uh, we can work on that oh. eye, you'll get the fight. Keep flicking away at him. Keep flicking away at him. He doesn't want to trade punches with him yet. Half the round gone. One must remember also that uh, Lester is uh, susceptible to an eye cut after the uh, one from you fight. Yeah. Uh, he also uh, uh, was cut under the eye there, and I'd strongly suggest that uh, he keep out of uh, those clinches in uh, per chance that, uh, that it's open again. That's right. And he, well, he should stay away from those clinches anyway. He should be boxing, jabbing this guy. Don't get him close with him. That's it. Keep flicking those punches at him. Right Set in the eye. Away. That's there's a Oh, that push. was a good one. Good left hand. Keep throwing that right hand at him. And when he does punch up, the Filipino looks untidy, guys. He does. He certainly does. He gets a caution from the referee. He won't be able to see out of that eye for much That's, longer, I tell you. And if Ellis now... You know, even Ambrose Palmer used to say, you throw left, left hooks over a southpaw's right hand leader, you keep throwing right hands at him. This is a perfect case to start right throwing right hands at him because of that cut. Exactly. It would land uh, right on the mark, then, wouldn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. That's it, Lester. Fight back, pal. Come on. Less than half a minute to go. Full marks for the Filipino. Big courage. Tough nut. A real tough nut. Pull it. Very good move there by, by Ellis, uh, getting out of the corner yeah. and then retaliating when uh, he made uh, the uh, Filipino miss. But he's, he's still got to do a little bit more, but uh, be a lot, lot more wary. Bell goes for the end of round six. Yes, well, let's start off and look, look, look again like there might be some disaster in that round, in the first part of that round. But Lester came back. I feel that uh, the amount of damage that, uh, that Sequena did in the first part of that round might have just got him that round, even though Lester came back fairly strongly the rest of it. But Lester is still behind on my card. He's got a situation facing him now where he can go for that, 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 that cut, work on it. But he's got to—he's got to be punching. He's got to do something. All right. Well, I'm finding that uh, Lester's starting to uh, peg back. Uh, yeah. Just he's lost to, over, a, a nice close-up of that uh, that eye there from our mobile camera in the ring. We can't put it on him again because uh, he had to get out. But that's not a, a good eye, Gus. Really. No. Of course, the, the, the only good thing about it, if there's anything good, is below the eye. Yeah. Yes, the blood won't get into the eye, it won't impair his sight, but it's, uh, it's certainly a rather large mouse. You won't be seeing out of that for too much longer, I can tell you. I know that uh, All right, let's go on, people think boxing uh, out, uh, is not the best of sports, but these things happen, and it's a, it's a sheer thrill to see two guys that are evenly matched like this and working each other out. Big right hand then from Sir Quentin, Court Get that hand out of there. Keep flicking that out. Keep flicking that hand out, Buster. A little bit more purpose to it. Start falling with the right hand. Sequena is able to get him where he wants him against the ropes in the He's corner pretty easily. He's often caught uh, Lester in those yeah. uh, on the on the corners, uh, in the corners, and uh, Lester, uh, in the most part, is found it difficult to get out of there. Right. Uh, come on, Come on, let's go. Come He's on, a good one, of course. Come on. He's the Orient and Pacific lightweight champion. Ellis hits him hard, left and right to the head. Sequina now comes back. Ellis trying to get to that eye. And Sequina is a pretty cagey customer. Caught Ellis with a big left hand. All right, this is up to now. Ellis caught him a couple of good punches at the did. start of that exchange. Pretty tough to try and hurt Sequina, though, I think. Yeah, he's a tough kid. There's no doubt about it. I said that pretty oh, tough nut sort of a guy, and that's exactly what he is. A hard one to crack. Over a minute and a half gone on the round. Good punch. Good little right uppercut there. And he's making Sequina miss more. Oh, another clash oh. of heads. Yeah, but that's Sequina. Sequina is doing that with his head. Yeah. 
right onto it. Oh, good left hook there. Ellis is coming back nice and strong, Johnny. Yes, he certainly is. And uh, over the last couple of rounds, I've seen uh, right, we see out. that uh, he's start to uh, make up those lost points yeah. that he lost early in the fight. Well, as that left eye closes, that's going to be a perfect spot for that right hand is to go in there. I see, it'll be very difficult for uh, Sequina to see from. That's right. With uh, one eye, it's uh, very difficult. It's, uh, it's his uh, good eye, the leading eye. But when you've only got one eye to... Yeah. Uh, to gauge your punches from it's uh, not much. That's right. Right away, let's go. Let's go. That's it. That's it, Lester. Good. Ellis doing well in this round. Not long to go. Must have come back very well. Right, so. Very well in this round. That's just about closed that left eye. I'm here to tell you. Bell goes into round seven. Good round for Ellis. This eye. Eighth round. All right. Uh, let's see if Sequinan can throw a few big bombs as he has quite often earlier in the previous rounds. I think Lester now is uh, is in a position where he's making a miss a lot. And when he does get hit, I don't think he's getting hit with the same force he was before. He's settled down very well now after those uh, early rounds. Guys. Very well, and that, very that's, uh, that's a tremendous uh, uh, good thing for him because of his, well, he's only had 15 fights, and look at how good he got himself under control after that onslaught. Well, he's learning how to fight this guy, isn't he, really? Yep. It's taken a while. Well, it certainly has been a, uh, a test of courage. Uh, Come on, what, fight well, after, come on. Uh, Good Fight get coming out of those go. early rounds uh, as well as he has and is uh, making up the leeway. In fact, uh, I, uh, I've got both of them equal at this stage. Yeah. Well, I got Sequina just uh, a little bit ahead right Actually, now. Yeah, else is coming in. Sorry, Peter. Uh -oh, so we agree to disagree, don't we? Some big bombs again from Sequinan, but a lot of them missing. Uh, how all of them missed there. He never got hit with a punch, which is uh, very good. I haven't seen Lester really flicking that left hand out as much as I thought he would. And follow the right hand. The guy can't see. Put that left hand in his good eye, hit him with the right hand. Yeah. Got him that time with it. Be nice to see Lester throw uh, multiple yeah. amount of jabs and then follow through with the right. Yeah, yeah bang, 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 and then, and then the right. But it's very difficult up there when the other guy won't let you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he hit him with two good shots, both the left and the right hand. And he's watching. Yeah, watch. Watch the head. That's another warning. That's two. Now it's got him on the eye. Then less than a minute to go in round eight. Now it's keeping the punches coming in close. Nice punch. Yes. Picked him off as he tried to move away. I'd like to see it, you know, as, as Johnny said, a bang, bang, bang with the left hand. Throw that right in there hard and fast. Good left hook. That was certainly boxing better. That's it. I think Ellis has got his... His left, uh, Sequina's left hand figured out too because he's getting under it almost every single time. Close to the bell. There it is, the bell for the end of round eight. Certainly, uh, he's he's say, allowing the uh, Sequina to miss a lot. Well, if we thought Sequina was uh, a boxer, we uh, now have to uh, agree that perhaps he's a fighter, John. And he's swing certainly. We saw on the screen there, Lester's eye is, uh, is uh, healed up quite well. Yep. Ninth round, ninth of 15. And if you're wondering why we hadn't heard anything from the referee, he's gone off air here. One of those punches whipped his microphone away from him. Probably wouldn't hear him with the crowd noise anyway, Gus. Uh, Sequena is, is, is trying to reassert his authority here, but he's he's not getting away with it this time. No, Ellis has got him tabbed, I think. A lot of these uh, punches have lost their sting yeah. too, Gus, uh, the Filipinos. 
That's it, Lester. Yes, good. That's it. Good move. That's it. I don't like him in the corner, though. Ever still bouncing around on the balls of his feet. Of course, this is the ninth round. We're, we're past the halfway mark. And Ellis is fit, and this is where he could come home. Well, he has a bit of a points leeway to make up, although I've got them even at the moment. And Lucien Joubert certainly earning his money in this scrap, I tell you. <laughs> certainly is. The Quinnen trying to pin him in the corner. Ellis missing with the right hand. Oh, Coming nice back at him, though. That was good. Nice Crowd like that picks him off again with the left hand. The Quinnen rushing in, trying to tie him up in the neutral corner. The more Ellis throws that right hand at him, the more he neutralizes the southpaw's left hand, too, you know? I'd like to see him throw it more. Because the people watching the fight realize that if Ellis is throwing right hands, he's got to neutralize the southpaw's left hand. And he's hitting him in a spot that's badly damaged. It's a real scrap in there, isn't it? it? certainly is. It certainly is. Ellis just got tagged with a, a right hand. Swinging punch. Ellis doing quite well this round now. A lot of wheels on Ellis's back from the gloves of yeah. uh, the Filipino. Now, bang, bang with that left hand. Bang, don't wait. Very, very pleasing to see that Ellis uh, is uh, learning with each fight, Gus. Yes. With each fight, and uh, tonight has been a great uh, test for him. It's, I tell you what, it's a great <laughs> lesson. One hell of a test for him. We get through this with flying colors, I tell you what, when people say, hey, we got a real champion yeah, here. Fantastic champion. Half a minute to go in the night. But I think a lot of people had back in the first round and think, oh my goodness. <laughs> goodness gracious me, what have I done? Yeah, that's it, that's, that's it. That's the way. Keep him at bay with the left hand. And then that right. Fire the right. Following quickly on that. Just nice to the bell. There it is. The right hand went in. Bell goes for the end of round nine. Always the best contest, I reckon. And, uh, yeah, certainly, right. Right. certainly right, Peter. Here we go. Tenth round. Well, after the tenth round, then the championship rounds, Johnny. Well, and we'll there. see. That's where you earn your pay. <laughs> That's right. Those, those testing rounds. Don't play around, Lester. Stick to boxing. Keep punching. Throw some punches. That's it. Beautiful combination punching. I don't like the idea of leading with his right, though. I'd rather use that jab to block off it and then fire that right hand in there. See, he's throwing the jab. He's throwing it. Very seldom does he come back with something following it, Johnny. It's very dangerous to throw, uh, to throw that right hand, as you said, Gus, because you're leaving yourself wide right open. Of course. Uh, so far, he's, uh, he's got away with it, but uh, it may be only a matter of time. And Sequinan trying the charging tactics again to get that was into the neutral corner. It wasn't successful. No look, let's go. Get out of here. Come on. Get a fight break. That eye's just about closed. It's a perfect shot for that right hand here, as well. Getting on, into the, uh, the gritting of the teeth stays now, hold too, it. I tell you. Yeah, they both still got plenty of petrol, I think. Of course, when it gets down another round or two, then it's the will, isn't it? Just the will. Nice left hands right into the face. It's a quite a... Single jabs. Double up on the jab. Following with the right hand. Let's see it just... A couple of times here, pal. You're all open now. Work on the inside. Come on. Let's go. Ellis yeah, working well with the body. Good round for Lester. Oh. Good round for Lester. Watch that. Oh, no. Don't stop that. Well, uh, it could indicate perhaps that he's a little bit more confident than he was, guys, if anything. True. That's probably what it does do, but... I'm I'm a, I'm a purist in the regard that says when you're in there, don't play around, do the business. Keep oh, coming, low, that hurt him. A couple of low punches there too. The risk has come back. All right, hold it, hold it. Let's 
cut the rest, and that's a boxing match. Come on, let's go. Jab, 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 right hand, Lester. Half a minute to go in the tenth. Right hand, Lester. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Lovely. The follow with the right hand. That's that that flash right there was the Lester we really know, you know. No, can the master blaster get out of this? That's nice. Ten seconds to go in the round. He's starting to put his punches together, man. Oh, and I notice uh, Sequena's swings are slower too, pal. You see that? There's the bell. He can keep her going. He's out fresh. He's out fresh. This guy is uh, a, a shock puncher. They're just liable to do anything, though. Yeah, he's got to keep on, his wits about go. him all the time. Let's go. Let's go. That's good. I'm sure the handlers in Elvis's corner. Now the good thing is his brother Keith would have told him that, though. Box this fellow. Don't try and out-punch him. That was working well to the body again. Tell you what, to be dead honest with you, I'm glad that he had this hold fight it. now after Kalu, rather than having it hold before it. Kalu. Watch all behind the hit. Now let's go. I think he gained enough confidence in fighting Kalu that he's handling this guy better. I would have hated to see it the other way around because I think it might have been too tough. Yes, this is uh, why Kalu was a, a good test for uh, Lester, and uh, as you say, uh, it's a, a learning procedure as you go along the way. And, That's right. Uh, as you say, this will be a good uh, test uh, for him. It has hold been a great it, test it, for Lester. So far, he's come through with flying colors because he's got the heart and the courage and his chin is good. He's still there. That was still dancing around. He's going to throw some more punches, though, Peter. Filipino giving as good as he got there. That's enough hold. Hold. They've done a very good job in that eye. Yeah, Keeping haven't they? It, uh, Unbelievable job. Now it's not bleeding. I don't know. It's very swollen. That is the problem. Now we're it above the eye. A bit of a different story. I'll tell you what, it came up pretty quickly. It certainly did. Good that right hand. Right on right the button. The left hand counter then from the Filipino. Come on, work on the inside. Let's go. Come on, fight to Less than a minute to go in round 11. Less than doing it pretty nice. A little slower round, but not doing too bad at all. I think he's he's well and truly holding his own. Put that down. He got him right on the eye with that jab. Now, follow him with your right hand, Lester. Hope there's nothing wrong with his right hand. Oh, oh that, was a slip. that was the right hand, but slip, uh, slip. a slip. Yeah. Missing badly now. Not one of those connected now. Been holding this fight. Working on, behind the line. Yes, that's something that, that that's the folks at home have to realize. When you hit behind that line, that, that doesn't score a punch. If you throw a big left hook and he catches on the glove of the shoulder, that doesn't score a punch. Close to the belt. That was a left jab. Just caught him as he's coming in. Oh, the Filipino looks to the corner. Yeah. A split decision from Juan Kilyu. When Come everybody on, here thought that he had fight. it uh, more Come than parceled up. Let's go. I'm sure the Filipino judge has uh, Sequinan in front. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, it's one of those things. It's, scoring a fight is a very hold subjective it, it, thing, it. really. But you should be counting punches that land with the knuckle part of the glove and a scoring part of the body. Like That's close. the way you score punches. Sequinan looking... Set, trying to land that big left hand, couldn't do it. Get out. And if the punch is scored or even, then you look at ring generalship and, and how the other guy made you miss. And Ellis is making this guy miss. He ga he's gaining ground in that regard also. I would like to see him do some more punching, Johnny. That's enough. Yes, especially when on, you notice out. that uh, the uh, the cut eye of Sequinan is uh, uh, somewhat of a handicap now, and his timing is... A little bit out, yeah. uh, not being able to see from, come on, the, your way out let's go. from the two eyes. Hands, come on, let's go. But certainly, it's uh, right, get out. Uh, it's quite easy for us to say. Uh, yeah. It's been a hard fight tonight, yeah. and uh, certainly, I'd like to see Lester uh, move uh, 
in more. And put it beyond all doubt. Yeah. Still in there pitching, I tell you what. I must agree with you, gentlemen. I would like to see him throw a bit more with it. He's got such fast hands, Lester. He's got such fast hands. Those, those straight, fast punches are the best in the business. Hold it, get out. Come on, hold. Quickest, quickest point, you know, made to be is a straight line. That's all you can go. Bang, bang. That jab. Throw that right hand. Nullify his left hand. One minute to go in round 12. Hold it, hold it. Get out, get out. Munchin Jabir. I mean, he's work cut out in this stands with the fight. He's done a good job, too, just quietly. Very nice job. Very nice job. He's uh, not a bad referee. Of course, the other reported judges from Hawaii and ex-policemen. In fact, That's he used to be an investigator for the Hawaiian Boxing Association over there. I like to think they got a real clean sport in Hawaii. He's a pretty tough cop. <laughs> Don't argue. Who's mouth guard left? Alice's? Alice's, I think. Or was it a piece of paper there? I got a mouth guard. All right, this good it. Close to the end of the round. I saw something on the dick. What was it? Yeah. Oh, the label. Good right hand. Good right hand. That's it. Judy. That's it again. Here comes the bell. Throw the right hand now. It was he banged some good shots, making Sequana miss. It's the punch that's been lacking for most of the night, the right hand. Right hand, yeah. 13, 14, and 15. Round 13. Sequinan rushes the champion again. Works with the left and right to the body. Alice comes back at him. Gives as good as he got. Oh, oh a lovely right hand to the jaw. And he did that jab. Two jabs in a row, never got the right hand over Put and try to pin him in the referee's corner. Careful, Lester. Box him. Of course, he made a miss. You know what? Nine out of ten of those punches missed. Come on, let's fight. Come on, let's go. Get out of this. Come on. So Quentin always gives it his best shot in the opening part of the round. And if uh, Alice can withstand that, he's generally done well towards the latter stages of them. Champion flicking out the left hand as he fights on the back move. Just the body, press a little bit low, that one yeah. too. Hit him on the thigh. Punch back, Buster, punch back. Come on, let's go, fight your way up. Come on, he certainly is lacking that, uh, that right, straight punch that we expected from him. He's doing all right. No full credit to uh, Sequin and Gus, if that's the case. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, Sequin is, is, is the reason that Lester isn't getting it all together, is it? Okay, so uh, Lester staying in those corners again and uh, yeah. wrestling oh, with uh, Sequinan, uh, which would uh, be sapping a little bit of his energy away. Yeah. Oh, big left hand. He can't see, but he fights on. What courage this man has got. Ellis trying to finish him off, but he can't. That's right. Don't get close to him. Left hand to the head. Come on, Lester. Stay away from him. Get the room. Get punching him. What a fight. Less than a minute to go on the round. Lester needs to. He's got to get, get punched. He's fighting him. from memory, Sequinan. That's it. Big right hand. He won't go down. Referee breaks him up. Come on. What he needs now is that jab, jab, and that right cross that you're talking about, Gus, and he'll have the guy. Good left, good left, left, left hand. Oh, don't worry. Well, that's silly. I hate to see that. He should be in there punching. Great round for Mr. Yeah. Ellis. Big left hand again. Wow. 20 seconds to the bell. This is the ideal moment. Think and think and throw. Jab, jab. Hard right hand. This is championship stuff it. here, I tell you. Hits him again, Ellis. Left and right. Tries to finish him off. Pleasure hits. He's going to go.
Tremendous, car. tremendous. He came back, he did it. Lester Ellis in a championship performance, a real championship performance. Came back from what looked like disaster, what looked like the end of his championship reign, and he came back on the top. And stopped his founder in the 13th round. A tremendous fight. Off. An exciting fight, a fight that had everything. Johnny, from the word God, yeah, God had everything, and uh, everybody, as you can hear, Gus, the flying there at Chrissy Ocean, they're really going mad for Ellis. Tremendous fight. Lester came back into that. He got the thing going. He looked in bad trouble. When that... Okay, here it comes. Lester Ellis. Watch this now. Lester hits him with a good shot. Hits him with the right hand. Hits him with the left hook. Lester, see if we can have a quick word. Lester, congratulations. All right, Thanks now. Very much. There we Great go. effort, mate. I was like one thing. I just like to thank God. And my little mate, Wayne Musket, from St. Albans, he's got cancer, he's very ill. He gave me all the inspiration in the world because he's very sick and he's not too well at all and he still puts a smile on his face. Thanks, Wayne. Fantastic, Lester. The belt being brought out, we'll get another word with Lester in just a minute. pretty tough, mate, weren't they? Well, I think that he can be very hard to try and upset on me, maybe to try and take control early. But I just try to keep my mind, keep my hands up, move around. I felt that I was hurting him in the body. And he seemed that he was tiring a little bit. And I caught him with a good right hand early on. How did you open up that cut on the eye? Was it a clash of heads? Well, no, he hit me with a beautiful left hand. The second time I waited for the left, I got under it and I got him with a short right hand. Lester... The, uh, when did you finally work out? Because he was a very heavy puncher the first three well, rounds he took, I thought. Well, Keith was telling me that he's going to come out hard to try and unsettle me early. But like I said, I kept my hands up, moved around, boxed around. But he was very awkward hit with combinations the way he's south ball side on. He was very awkward to hit. You certainly proved the thing, answered a few questions, didn't you? Well, thanks very much, Peter. I hope a lot of people have got a bit more confidence in me. I'll let you talk to the crowd here at Festival Hall. Well thanks done. A great champion. Thank thanks. You. Lester Ellis. OK, Gus. I'll find my way back out of the ring. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. There's two world champions, Johnny. For Australia, and uh, especially for Australian boxing, uh, with Jeff Fennec winning in uh, nine rounds up in Sydney and uh, Lester showing an amazing uh, recovery after those initial uh, rounds where uh, Supreme and the uh, Filipino really let him know who was the boss. An amazing recovery. We'll take a look at uh, some action. I think it was from round five when we saw that uh, cuts open up on the eye of uh, Sir Quinnen. Let's take a look at the action now. Some very good right hands there from Lester Ellis. Right about there, right about there is when I think he got cut, really. We see him come up with that big yeah. egg under the oh, eye. Oh, that's yeah. 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 What happened there? At that time. He used his he used his head. He butted him. This is the knockout punch. Or should we say punches, gentlemen? Yeah. Well, he hits him with a big left hand there. That's it. You see that? His head twisted on its axis there. Left. That was it. And Rod Sequinan down, and as we know now, ultimately out, being counted out by Lucien Joubert. And that was the end of the ball game in so far as Lester Ellis, uh, in so far as Roger Quinton was concerned. And so Lester successfully defending his Australian, his uh, world title. And a very happy crowd here at Festival Hall. A very happy boy is indeed Lester Ellis. Lucien Joubert holding Lester's arm aloft. Look at that little boy. Oh, isn't that great, huh? <laughs> isn't that great? Well, we said Lester, a great, uh, great one with the kids, and there's a lot of young uh, kids here in the audience at Festival Hall tonight. Capacity crowd. 
and Leicester indeed a very worthy champion, John. Certainly, and a very gutsy performance of I can use that word.